An aerospace team has been investigating ways to detect, classify, locate, and take control of drones that pose a threat. So this gives us a first line of defense in a restricted airspace, maybe a stadium, maybe an airport, maybe the White House, where we could take over the command link and instead of crashing the UAV, or which would happen if you jammed it, you could land it in a safe place. Drones that are being actively controlled receive a radio frequency, or RF signal, from their controller. Aerospace has been looking at ways to detect that signal, gather data from it, and interfere with it. They took off-the-shelf hardware and modified it with aerospace-developed algorithms. To test their idea, they took it to an area where technology like this might actually be used, the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. Aerospace was able to conduct several tests at the Rose Bowl, including during the actual game on New Year's Day. One complication in an area like the Rose Bowl is that there's a lot of RF activity from television crews, cell phones, etc. that could potentially interfere with the team's drone detection efforts. Unfortunately, due to restrictions on flying drones, the team had to drive their drone around at the Rose Bowl and weren't able to actually fly it. Nonetheless, they proved that their algorithm worked and were able to successfully take control of the flightless drone. The next step was to try this with a drone that was actually flying. To avoid restrictions on flight, the team performed their next test indoors at a Hollywood studio. We've taken the day to go to the studio to test our UAV takeover capability. It's a radio frequency capability where we detect the command link and use our custom equipment to take over the command link and land it safely in somewhere else. So this controller is going to fly this UAV to about 50 feet and then our receiver transmitter pair will receive the command link and send out both the spoof, spoofing signal and also a jammer and land the signal where we want it. They were able to demonstrate three things. First, they were able to use their algorithm to take control of a drone that was hovering. All right, so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna be the intruder flying into your denied airspace, wherever that is, uh, towards you. And then Eric's gonna take it over and he's gonna fly it back over this way and then he's gonna hand it back to me. So we're gonna do takeover and then hand back to the original controller. So I've got the original controller and I'm gonna take off. All right, so now I'm looking at your sporting event. All right, so I'm gonna match my throttle to what his is. Higher? Yeah, go a little bit higher. All right. And then I'm gonna take over. Whoa. All right, so now I don't have control anymore. And he's the one who's flying. In the second demonstration, the team flew two drones and took control of one of the drones without affecting the second drone at all. All right, I'm on, I'm enabled. Flight controller enabled, take off. Look how stable we are. <laughs> okay. All right, Eric, take over in three, two, one. All right, Eric, go ahead and land it. I have no control. The third time, the team proved they can do a high-speed capture. Using their algorithm, they were able to take control of a drone flying rapidly through the air. All right, here we go. We're gonna do a real live, I don't know. On the move. On the move takeover test. I'm gonna take off and then Eric's gonna take over halfway. All right, there we go up. All right. Okay, I'll come back. Oh, well, he got it. Nice job, Eric. So I have no control. Let's sort of return and reset. All right, I'm gonna start flying it that way. Hey, pretty good. And Eric's got control, and I have no control anymore. And Eric's gonna land it, I guess. Excellent. The team is continuing to refine their technique, but they've shown that it's possible to use RF signals to detect and take control of an unwanted drone that's flying where it shouldn't be. So the capability that aerospace has created with our prototype has allowed us to safely take over a command link when a UAV is flying in restricted airspace. 
As drones become more popular, aerospace's technology could be just what is needed for law enforcement, operators of critical infrastructure, and private business owners to protect themselves and others from a potential drone threat.